How doctors can look at a knee x-ray and instantly tell what's wrong. Understanding the art of reading these images is not just fascinating, it's crucial, especially in diagnosing and treating knee problems effectively. Imagine holding a knee x-ray in front of you. The first step in deciphering this medical puzzle is identifying the femur or thigh bone. This is the largest bone visible on the x-ray sitting above the knee joint. Notice its dense, smooth outline which often appears brighter than other areas due to its size and significance. Now, shift your focus just below the femur to find the patella, commonly known as the kneecap. It appears as a small oval-shaped bone sitting right in front of the knee joint. The patella plays a key role in how the knee bends and extends. Directly below the patella, the next landmark is the tibia, or shin bone. This bone supports much of your body's weight and is crucial for lower leg movement. On an x-ray, the tibia extends downwards and is typically seen aligning with the femur at the top. Adjacent to the tibia, though slightly harder to spot, is the fibula. It's thinner and often appears as a faint shadow alongside the tibia. Although it doesn't bear as much weight as the tibia, it's vital for muscle attachment and stability in the leg. Between the femur and tibia, scrutinize for the joint space. This gap is crucial as it indicates the health of the knee cartilage. A narrow or uneven space can suggest arthritis or other joint problems. Major bones, femur, the thigh bone, it's the large bone at the top of the knee joint, tibia, the shin bone, which supports most of the body's weight, it is below the femur. Fibula, a smaller bone located next to the tibia on the lateral side of the leg, it stabilizes the ankle and supports muscles of the lower leg. Patella, kneecap, patella. This is the small bone located in front of the knee joint, it protects the knee and increases the leverage of the quadriceps muscles. Epicondyles, lateral epicondyle, a bony protrusion on the outer side of the femur, thigh bone. It provides attachment for ligaments and muscles. Medial epicondyle, a bony protrusion on the inner side of the femur. It also serves as an attachment site for ligaments and muscles. Condyles, lateral femoral. Condyle, the rounded prominence on the outer side of the femur that articulates with the lateral tibial condyle. Medial femoral condyle, the rounded prominence on the inner side of the femur that articulates with the medial tibial condyle. Lateral tibial condyle, the flat surface on the outer side of the top of the tibia that articulates with the lateral femoral condyle. Medial tibial condyle, the flat surface on the inner side of the top of the tibia that articulates with the medial femoral condyle. Intercondylar eminence, a bony ridge on the tibia between the medial and lateral condyles. It serves as an attachment point for the cruciate ligaments, which stabilize the knee. Head of fibula. The top part of the fibula bone, it articulates with the tibia and serves as an attachment point for muscles and ligaments. Joint spaces and articulations. Tibiofemoral joint. The main hinge joint of the knee between the tibia and femur. Patellofemoral joint. The joint between the patella and the femur, allowing the patella to move and protect the knee joint. Additional anatomical features, adductor tubercle, a small bump on the medial side of the femur where the adductor magnus muscle attaches. Groove for popliteus, a shallow groove on the lateral femoral condyle for the popliteus muscle which helps in knee flexion. Intercondylar fossa, the depression between the condyles on the back of the femur where the cruciate ligaments are located. Joint spaces and articulations, tibiofemoral. Joint the primary hinge joint between the tibia and femur. Patellofemoral joint, the joint between the patella and the femur. Additional features. Adductor tubercle, a small bump on the medial side of the femur where the adductor magnus muscle attaches. Groove for popliteus, a shallow groove on the lateral condyle for the popliteus muscle. Intercondylar fossa, a depression between the femoral condyles on the back of the knee. Using these landmarks, you can systematically evaluate a knee x-ray. Start with the bones. Check the femur, tibia, and fibula for any fractures or abnormalities. Examine the joint spaces. Look for uniform joint space, which indicates healthy cartilage. Reduced space may suggest arthritis. Check the patella. Ensure it is properly aligned and not displaced. Look at the soft tissue. Assess for any signs of swelling or calcification. Femur, located at the top, lateral and medial epicondyles, on the outer and inner sides of the femur, respectively. Lateral and medial femoral condyles, articulate with corresponding tibial condyles, patella, in front of the knee joint, 
intercondylar, eminence between the tibial condyles, fibula and head of fibula, on the lateral side of the knee, superior and inferior poles of patella, the top and bottom of the patella, lateral and medial condyles, both femoral and tibial with more specific labels, groove for popliteus and adductor tubercle, detailed labeling of attachment points for muscles, detailed condyle labels including superior articular surfaces, tibial plateau, the top part of the tibia, intercondylar fossa, and eminence, showing detailed internal structures, facet for popliteus, specific attachment for the popliteus muscle. Now take a step back and view these components together. The interplay between the femur, patella, tibia, and fibula, along with the surrounding joint space, tells a story. It's a narrative about how the knee functions and what might be impairing its performance. In summary, Mastering the ability to read a knee x-ray involves recognizing the femur, patella, tibia, and fibula, and evaluating the joint space. Each element provides clues to the overall health of the knee. By understanding these anatomical landmarks, one can begin to unravel the complexities of knee injuries and disorders, leading to better treatment and management strategies. So, the next time you encounter a knee x-ray, remember these landmarks. They are the key to unlocking the mysteries hidden within.